So, hi, welcome to the lecture series on programming in C and data structures. So, in today's lecture, let's continue with the, what we have seen in the last lecture. So, during the last session, we have discussed about uh, what is what an algorithm is and how to write an algorithm. And we have seen uh, what is flowchart and what are the various symbols that are used uh, in drawing the flowchart. And we have seen one example, which is uh, finding the uh, grade of a uh, student. So based on four marks, we calculated the student grade. So today we will discuss few more examples uh, and we will uh, see how to write an algorithm and draw a flowchart for the same. So consider this example where you need to write an algorithm and draw a flowchart to convert the length in feet to centimeter. So here the length would be given in feet. So you have to convert the length into centimeter. So for writing an algorithm, initially what is required is we need input. This. So algorithm is used for solving a problem. So for solving a problem, here the problem is to convert the length in feet to centimeter. So for solving a problem, you need the inputs initially. So that's the first step. So you have to get the length in feet, which is your input. So first step is input the length in feet. Next, you have to convert this feet length, I mean length in feet to centimeter. So one centimeter is equal to, sorry, one feet is equal to 30 centimeters. So as you're aware, one feet is equal to 30 centimeters. So you have to multiply the given length in feet by 30. For example, if the length is given as 5, so you have to multiply 5 by 30. So 5 into 30 would be 600 centimeter. So finally, you can uh, print the length 600 cent in centimeters. So initially, the input is given as 5 feet, which is converted into centimeter, and the answer would be 600 centimeter. So these, these are the steps for solving the given problem, which is to convert length in feet to centimeter. So first step in the algorithm is to get the input. Second step is to perform operation of converting uh, length in feet to centimeter. And third step is to print the length in centimeter. So now, so let's see how to draw a flowchart for the same. So how do we draw the flowchart? So initially, all the flowchart starts with start and it, end, it is terminated with the stop. So these start and stop are uh, indicated using the oval shape. So next, the parallelogram indicates. So parallelogram, it can be used for receiving the input as well as for printing the result. So now we have to read the input. So we read uh, the input, which is a length in feet. So that is what I have mentioned as input LFT. LFT means length in feet. Next, you have to convert this length in feet into centimeter. So the formula used is, as we have discussed earlier, length in feet is multiplied by 30. So it's stored in LCM, which is length in centimeter. So this holds the length in centimeter. So finding the hybrid box, we are printing the length in centimeter. So let's see one more example. Here you have to calculate the area of a rectangle. So for calculating the area of rectangle, what is the input required? The rectangle has two different sides. One is length and the other one is breadth. So two different lengths would be there. Not all the sides are equal. So the highest length is called as length and shorter side is called as uh, width or the breadth. So formula used for calculating uh, areas, length into width or length into breadth. First, you have to get the input in input value for length and width. Next, you have to calculate the area by multiplying L with W. So area of rectangle equal to L into W. Finally, you have to print the area. So this is the algorithm. So flowchart for the same as, so uh, flowchart starts with star, uh, start and it is terminated in stop. The parallelogram is used for uh, receiving the inputs length and width W and L. And in the rectangular box, we perform the operation, which is area equal to length into width. Finally, in the hybrid box, we are printing the result. So these are a few more examples. So we can uh, do it on your own. Uh, the fourth example would be write an algorithm and draw a flowchart that will calculate the roots of a quadratic equation. So a quadratic equation is of the form. So see here, a x squared plus b x plus c equal to zero. This is a quadratic equation. So how do we determine the roots? root equal to plus r minus b square, square root of b square minus 4ac. So this will give you the roots. So you can also employ some other formulas if you know. So this, these are the steps. 
So you can try it on your own. Or try writing an algorithm for calculating the roots of the quadratic equation and try drawing a flow chart. So this is the most easiest one, addition of two numbers. So all you need to do is read two numbers A and B. Then you have to calculate the sum A, sum equal to A plus B. And then you have to print the sum. So this is a flow chart for calculating the sum of two numbers. So if you want to calculate the average of three numbers, so this is same as the first example we have discussed. In the first example, we have calculated the average of four marks and then uh, we uh, decided or we decided on the grades based on those four marks. So here we simply start with the average step alone. Here we are not deciding anything. So initially you have to calculate the sum. So average equal to sum divided by the total number of numbers given. Here three, if we have uh, read three numbers, N1, N2, N3, so sum equal to N1 plus N2 plus N3 and average equal to sum divided by three numbers. <coughs> So this is for finding greatest of three numbers. All these can be considered as an example. So you can try working it at home. And this is the flowchart for printing the letter N times. For printing the letter N, N sorry. you want to print the letter N, M times. So go through all these examples. So in the next session, we will see how to write a pseudocode for all these and we will move on to the structure of C program. Thank you.